before we get started, we'd like to thank our friends over at Memphis Mayfire for their song, Somebody, this week's song for Time to Football. Check it out anywhere you stream your music. Week 3 begins with an AFC North matchup between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Cleveland Browns. No question that both teams have great defenses, but offensively, things just haven't clicked, especially for the Steelers. If Mitch Trubisky continues to struggle, could we see Kenny Pickett make his debut? We're going to go with the Cleveland Browns to win this game by six. The away game in Pittsburgh's questionable offense worries me a bit. For those that pick spreads, our suggestion is Browns minus four and a half. Sunday's games feature another two teams who've struggled offensively, the New Orleans Saints versus the Carolina Panthers. The Saints are coming off a tough loss to the Buccaneers, while the Panthers have yet to win their first game. But the positives for them is that both their losses were by a field goal, so they're more than capable of making each game competitive. Our pick is going to be the New Orleans Saints by 8. We believe the Saints will rebound offensively and the Panthers will have difficulty keeping up with them. Our suggestion for the spread is Saints minus 3. The Houston Texans versus the Chicago Bears. The Bears came down to earth following their 27-10 loss against the Packers, whereas the Texans give off the same vibes as the Lions from last year. They suffer from so many close losses and ties that it's only a matter of time until they pick up their first win. And we believe that this is the week they do just that. We're picking the Texans to win by two. The Bears run game will keep it close, but the Texans are just more balanced offensively. Our spread suggestion is Texans plus two and a half. The 2-0 Kansas City Chiefs take on the winless Indianapolis Colts. The Colts, who were preseason favorites to win the AFC South, were shut out last week by the Jacksonville Jaguars. Meanwhile, the Chiefs haven't skipped a beat since Tyreek Hill was traded. We're going with the Chiefs advancing to 3-0, winning by 10. Maybe the Colts look better this week, but there are no signs of the Chiefs slowing down. Our suggestion for the spread, Chiefs minus 5.5. Buffalo Bills versus the Miami Dolphins. Both teams undefeated, but not after this one. The Bills continue to look like the best team in football, while the Dolphins continue to surprise everyone. This week will truly determine if the Dolphins are for real. The magical moments may have to be put on a pause this week, as we have the Bills winning by 13. It's a large margin not because I'm discrediting the Dolphins, but rather Buffalo has looked very, very good. Our suggestion for the spread is Bills minus 6.5. NFC North battle between the Detroit Lions and the Minnesota Vikings. After an efficient performance in Week 1, the Vikings showed their secondary still has some holes in Week 2. The Lions look to be much better than last year and boast a very underrated offense led by DeAndre Swift. We're rolling with the Vikings this week to win by four. We're still a big believer in Justin Jefferson being the focal point of this offense, and Detroit's secondary will have a difficult time stopping him. But we do believe it's going to be close, so our suggestion on the spread is Lions plus five and a half. The New England Patriots host the Baltimore Ravens. It was a valiant effort by Lamar Jackson and Mark Andrews, but the Ravens dropped to 1-1 one one following Tua Tagovailoa's great performance. The Patriots advanced to 1-1 one one on the other end, squeezing out a narrow victory against the Pittsburgh Steelers. We're going to take the Ravens to win on the road by 7. A Patriots win will be determined by how well their defense plays, but it's going to be tough against Lamar Jackson. Our suggestion for the spread is Ravens minus 2.5. One of these teams is 0-2, and it's not who you think. The Cincinnati Bengals versus the New York Jets. In their defense, the Bengals did face two very tough defenses, but they need this victory to save their season early on. The Jets have looked great with Joe Flacco, who currently is top five in the NFL in passing yards. We believe this is the week the Bengals turn it around in a dominant fashion. Bengals win by 14. Their offense gets on track, and the Jets will have trouble keeping up. Bengals minus 4.5 is one of the safer spreads this week. Speaking of teams that need to save their season, the Las Vegas Raiders versus the Tennessee Titans. Many people forget that both teams made the playoffs last season, with the Titans even being the number one seed. The Titans offense has been their weak point, while the Raiders defense can't seem to stop their opponents. It's honestly a toss-up, but I'm picking the Titans to win by three. Derrick Henry gets back on track in what's going to be a great game. Our suggestion for the spread is Titans plus one and a half. Sweet, sweet revenge. Carson Wentz and the Washington Commanders take on his former team, the Philadelphia Eagles, who are led by the man that dethroned Wentz and is playing at an MVP level right now. 
the Eagles defense has also taken a step up and is a big reason why they remain undefeated. It's going to be a tough one for the Commanders, so we have the Eagles winning by 10. Wentz has looked great, but Darius Slay on Terry McLaurin will cause him to struggle just a bit. The spread to take here is Eagles minus 6.5. After a demanding victory against the Colts, the Jacksonville Jaguars head to SoFi Stadium to face the Los Angeles Chargers. Jacksonville's defense needs to repeat their performance if they want to stop the Chargers' offense led by Justin Herbert, who is playing at an elite level despite the injury to his ribs. If Herbert plays this week, we have the Chargers winning this one by 9. The spread to take here is Chargers minus 7. In the NFC West, the Los Angeles Rams face the Arizona Cardinals. As of late, the battles between both these teams have been back and forth. The Rams rebounded well last week by holding off the Falcons' comeback. The Cardinals were on the other side of a comeback, with Kyler Murray's legs helping the Cardinals advance to 1-1. One one. This is a tough one, but we're picking the Rams to win by 6. The Cardinals have been in way too many deficits to trust them at this point. The spread pick here would be Rams minus 3.5. Don't be surprised if this is one of those games that weirdly ends up being high scoring. The Atlanta Falcons vs. the Seattle Seahawks While Geno Smith hasn't been terrible, the Seahawks' defense is giving up on average 400 yards a game. The Falcons almost broke away from the 28-3 stigma, but ultimately failed their comeback attempt last week. I'm liking the Falcons this week to win by 4. Their offense is slightly better than we thought and the Seahawks are struggling on defense. I'd go with the Falcons, minus 1. Two of the best quarterbacks of all time go head-to-head, -head, but will they really light it up in this game? The Green Bay Packers versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon seem to be the star players for the Packers nowadays, while the Bucs are struggling offensively with their star receivers either hurt or even suspended. It could go either way, but I'm going with the Packers by two. We saw how greatly Brady struggled without his receivers, so expect that to carry on into this week. The spread to go here is Packers plus one and a half. Sunday Night Football, the San Francisco 49ers versus the Denver Broncos. How grateful are the 49ers with them not trading Jimmy Garoppolo? The old look offense that led them to the NFC Championship has returned. Speaking of an old look offense, the Broncos don't seem like they changed. Russell Wilson has hardly made an impact to improve the passing attack. A lot of it can be put on coaching, but the passing game needs to get going. It's a close call, but I like the Broncos at home by three. A San Francisco win wouldn't be surprising, but Denver's offense is going to turn it around and put up a fight. Our spread suggestion is Broncos minus one and a half. And finally, Monday Night Football, the Dallas Cowboys versus the undefeated New York Giants. Cooper Rush is also undefeated in his career as a starter after defeating the Bengals last week. The Giants defense so far is making a statement and their defense might be their only chance to keep this game close. I don't want to disappoint Giants fans, but I do believe the magic stops here. We're taking the Cowboys to win by six. Dallas is surprisingly the underdog, and if Michael Gallup returns, this will make it even more difficult for New York to win. The spread to take here is Cowboys plus one. Before you guys leave, be sure to hit that subscribe button for future weekly picks videos every Thursday.